Hello students. Welcome back to Next Level Academy. Step up your career. Today we are going to see Jipma skill test for 2022 exam. A new topic which is choking management. Today we are going to see in two categories. One for adult and another one for infant. First, adult choking. How we are going to, going to manage if an adult is choking? First, you have to see the scene. You have to identify whether the patient is choking or not. How we can find out? You can see signs of grabbing the throat, choking, can't speak properly, and breathing heavily. To confirm it again, you have to ask the patient, Are you choking? He will nod the head. So, what you have to do, you have to call the emergency team till they arrive. You have to start the first step. Step 2 is abdominal thrust or hemorrhage maneuver. Both are same. What you have to do is you have to go behind the patient and you have to make the patient lean slightly forward. And you have to keep the thumb and make a fist with one hand. And with the another hand, you have to cover the abdomen. And you have to keep the fist in just two fingers above, slight above the belly button below the zephyr process this is the place where you have to keep so here it covers the diaphragm area so you have to give a force inward outward inward upward so this is the force you have to give so that the lung will give a pressure through that the foreign body comes out you have to give in such a way a uh, multiple times Till the foreign body comes. If the foreign body doesn't come, what happens? The patient will go in unresponsiveness and you have to manage the unresponsiveness treatment. First aid. Next, is it the same for choking pregnant women? No, because you can't keep the fist on the abdomen. So, where do you have to keep? You have to cover the pregnant woman going behind, you have to cover the breast. And the fist, you have to keep it in the mid of the sternum. It's slight, it's above the zephyr process. You have to give a pressure in such a way, an inward, inward force, not inward upward, just inward force. Through that, the lung will exert a pressure through that the foreign body comes out through the mouth. If it doesn't come, the women, pregnant women, will go unresponsiveness then you have to manage the unresponsiveness aid next is infant choking and first aid so how you will handle if an infant chokes first you have to hold the baby upside down i mean the downwards you have to hold the jaw neck and the abdomen and you have to keep the baby on the thigh facing downward by the another hand at the heel of the hand you have to give and five blows downward outward so five blows you will give so the foreign body comes out if it doesn't comes out you have to place the baby upward by placing a hand head spine neck and spine together with the hand placing on the thigh and with the another hand with two finger making an imaginary line between between the two nipples you have to give a pressure five times one two three four five still if the foreign body doesn't come so you have to again repeat the process you have to place the baby facing downwards and this has to be repeated if it doesn't come the baby goes unresponsiveness then you have to manage the unresponsiveness aid guys i hope you would have understood this session if you have any doubts you can clarify please do like share and subscribe thank you